In August of this year, I published a video named 10 Minutes of Useless Roblox Information. That video is inspired by Austin McConnell's series of a very similar name, 10 Minutes of Useless Information. And I thought, why don't I make it 15? And so that's what I'm doing. Also, I should mention before I start this, that it's like 8 a.m. and my throat really hurts. So I'm sorry if my voice is like really raspy for like 90% of the video. Reminder, this video is exactly what the title says. These facts are completely useless. The first ever tweet on the official Roblox account was posted on May 25th, 2009 and reads, It's all mine. I really want to know the context of that tweet. Roblox was featured on a now defunct Spanish news blog of sorts named MoBuzz TV in early 2007. The translation was done by someone in the client search Discord and may be inaccurate. Actitudes como estas son las que nos hacen preguntarnos: ¿En qué narices habrán dejado la infancia los usuarios de Second Life? Y precisamente por esto no nos parece nada extraño que aparezca algo como Roblox, lo cual no es otra cosa que un parque infantil virtual. Una vez que estás ahí, ya no importa cuál sea tu edad real, podrás soltarte la melena y crear con Lego castillitos, barquitos, casitas, un reactor nuclear o lo que te dé la gana. Ay, si Freud levantara la cabeza. As revealed at the Roblox Rally 2011, the 2004 Roblox logo had multiple color variants, but red and white was the one that stuck. Some others include blue and white, orange, yellow, and purple gradient, and white and gray. The first horror game predates the first ever obby game on Roblox by about two and a half months. The first obby game is Builder Dude's Place, created in November of 2006, and the first horror game is Forest of Desolation, created by Abyss in August of 2006. Abyss is also rumored to be Shedletsky's alt. The game Roblox Opolis, created by Shedletsky in late 2006, had its own blog which was active until March of 2007. The blog no longer exists, but its posts have been archived on the Wayback Machine. The posts mostly consisted of updates and various topics relating to the game. In October of 2008, Roblox hosted a scavenger hunt on the game York's Resting Place. If you looked through a certain pile of papers in the York's Resting Place map, you could find a paper hinting towards a secret video contest about York's Resting Place. The decal texture that was used for this paper was uploaded on a secret throwaway account called Johnny Fish Face which was only used once in October of 2008. It's unknown if this account is a shared admin account or was just used to hide the decal out of the creator of the map's inventory so that people didn't find it on accident while looking through the inventories of admins. Before January of 2007, this was the error screen you got when something went wrong while trying to load certain pages. It was changed to this for a few days from about Christmas 2006 to January 15th of 2007 having nothing on it and the tab title untitled page before being changed to this around January 16th which says an error occurred we're sorry. In this banner which was used on the Roblox website for most of 2007 the left side of the Robloxian's mouth is slightly farther up than the right side by only a few pixels. Between the months of January 2007 and March of 2007, you could not officially change your body colors or use t-shirts unless you were an admin. For the Homestead Furniture Making Contest, which ran from January 17th to January 20th of 2007, there were 9 different winners which were all given early access to customizing their body colors and using t-shirts. What they had to do was make a model of their character with whatever designs or changes they wanted to make and send it to a Roblox official email. Since they all customized their characters with Roblox Studio, they also had the opportunity to change many other things with their characters. For example, Rox25, one of the winners, made half of his limbs slightly transparent. Mike was also one of the nine winners, made himself gold and 30% reflective. When publishing the model, Mike forgot to lock his limbs, making it so that his limbs could be pulled off of his body in any games with building tools in them. In a blog post from March of 2007, Shedletsky mentions a possible face builder feature, rockets and wings, gestures, and 3D hair. Canonically, the boy Roblox guest and the girl Roblox guest are named Billy Bloxer and Betty Bloxer respectively. There are also two accounts shared by the Roblox staff team with the same names. This is a wiki page from September 14th, 2006 about the multiplayer games feature on Roblox which was in beta at that time. At that point in time, the only game you could play on multiplayer mode was Crossroads. 
You could play any other game on single player only though. This was only until later in September. On this page, there was a sentence where it advises you to use less than 2,000 bricks to help with performance. Murder Mystery 2, for example, uses just over 33,000 bricks as of 2021. In the Wonders of the World contest, which ran from March 11th to March 17th of 2007, the goal was to build a wonder of the world in quotes. The winners of the contest would get a t-shirt with the name of their game, the thumbnail, the contest name, and a text that says, visit it, throw away account's name at roblox.com. These shirts were supposed to be hosted on Zazzle.com, an old school merch selling website similar to Spreadshop and Teespring, for a limited time just enough so that the original winner could buy them, but not enough for some random people to buy them. Or at least that was the plan. All four original shirts were accidentally sold on there until somewhere around 2009 or 2010, until Shedleski, the one selling the shirts, logged into his old Zazzle account and finally took them down. On April 22nd, 2009, Reese McBlox uploaded a Roblox fan site kit to the official Roblox blog. Attached was a link to a zip file with relatively high quality versions of their old logos and old versions of badge icons. The 2009 version is currently lost as the link is a 404 page as of now, but an updated 2011 version was archived on the Wayback Machine. As of October 16th, 2021, the game Duo by Emma Loves Slay World has 169 favorites. On exactly April 25th, 2013, Shedletsky had 362 incoming friend requests. This table from January 2007 shows the top 64 people with the most knockouts. User number 33 was Michigan207, who had 740 kills and 507 deaths. The Roblox account, Roblox security bot, misspelled as Sir, 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 what? Sircerity. Which was not a real Roblox security bot, if you could not tell already, was banned on November 6, 2018. Every daytime song in the SCP-3008 soundtrack, composed by Ugly Burger Zero, uses the Groover drum loop at a tempo of 94 beats per minute. The Groover drum loop is a stock FL Studio sample that comes with the program. For the majority of 2007, the account Roblox's bio read, Roblox is user number one in Robloxia. Actually, Roblox is played by the whole team here at Roblox.com. We use him to release cool places and items and hats. Please send your questions to Builderman or read the help files. Speaking of the official Roblox account, the account has gone through many different avatar changes throughout the last 15 years. As of now, it has stayed on the same avatar since 2017. What I'm showing on the screen right now is most of the avatars that the Roblox account has used over the last 15 years. I'm still going. And that's not even all of them. On December 12th, 2007, Naruto Boy commented on the big head hat saying the following. Usor, the account Blank Arena was a staff account created in September of 2006, which originally hosted a place with a green base plate with dark green walls, and the original brick battle weapons including the Super Ball, Slingshot, Time Bomb, Rocket Launcher, and Trowel. The last day where no Roblox accounts were made throughout the entire day was August 7th, 2006. Ever since August 8th, 2006, at least one Roblox account has been made per day. The following is a list of every day after February 2006 in which no Roblox accounts were made. March 9th, March 10th, March 13th, March 14th, March 15th, March 21st, March 26th, March 31st, April 2nd, April 6th, April 8th, April 12th, April 13th, April 15th, April 16th, April 17th, April 19th, April 20th, April 22nd, April 23rd, April 24th, April 26th, April 27th, April 28th, April 29th, May 1st, May 2nd, May 3rd, May 4th, May 5th, May 6th, May 7th, May 8th, May 12th, May 13th, May 20th, May 22nd, May 23rd, May 24th, May 26th, May 27th, May 29th, 
June 1st, June 2nd, June 3rd, June 4th, June 7th, June 10th, June 11th, June 12th, June 14th, June 17th, June 18th, June 20th, June 24th, June 25th, June 26th, June 27th, June 28th, June 30th, July 1st, July 2nd, July 3rd, July 4th, July 9th, July 10th, July 12th, July 13th, July 17th, July 19th, and August 7th. Oh my god, my throat hurts so much from doing that. The following is a list of Halloween-themed models that user Shiroku, also known as Pi Man, published throughout October of 2006. Vampire. I don't see it yet. Vampire. Vampire. What else? Headless zombie Jedi. <laughs> ghost. Ghost. That's a pretty good ghost. Is that Casper? Candle. Oh. <laughs> no, what happened to the candle? Party tower? I I don't know what the f that is. Oh. <laughs> Pumpkin. Halloween lightsaber. That's pretty good. Candle. Yeah, oh, at least he got a bag. Candle. There's two of them? That was nice. Candle. Ooh, I like that one a lot better. <laughs> oh my god, that scared me so bad. Oh my god! Do you guys like Pie Man's Halloween model? On October 1st, 2020, at 6.52 p.m., I bought the Gimme Pie I Want Pie shirt from Luigi498, which is now content deleted 13 and a half years after its creation, for a reason I genuinely can't comprehend. The Roblox account Salami was created on August 24th, 2008, at 6.50 p.m. in the evening, in Central Daylight Time. The game you are seeing on screen right now is a game that was created by Technoblade, yes, that Technoblade, in July of 2008, and is called Magic Wars Party, if camera broke, read description. The first part of the description reads, There are many things I can promise you. That the badge doesn't work is one of them. The earliest existing comment on the Roblox Chaos Canyon Firefight video, which was published on the 26th of October 2006, is by Red979 and reads, What happened to the flamethrower? The earliest existing comment on the 2006 Roblox game trailer, which was published in November of 2006, is by JacobXXDuel, who is now known as Reverse Polarity, and reads, Awesome. This game is awesome to play too. It has battling and fighting. There are many armies and ways too. And this video gets all the cool maps and fights. This is the only image that still exists of a Gooblox server. This image was taken on the day that Roblox pulled their 2007 April Fool's prank, where for one day they rebranded to Gooblox and joked that Google had bought them out. This image was discovered by Flexible Banjo sometime in early 2021. Each minigame from 2004 and 2005 had its thumbnail archived in November of 2006. This means that not only were the thumbnail for these games still on Roblox servers at this point in time, but 2004 and 2005 Roblox minigames were available and playable as late as early 2007. The list that is being shown on screen is a list of every Roblox account that was registered in 2007 that has the F word in it. I'm not going to read out any of them because YouTube will kill me and my family. This user made advertisement was captured on the Wayback Machine in April of 2011. It is 728 by 90 pixels and you can very clearly see the year ad here text on the left side of the screen. On February 20th, 2009, 121 players were playing the game, You're Dead But Why by Frotar. On November 17th, 2010, Survive Getting Eaten by Charlie to be VIP Back by Jackie Joe 9 was last updated. I don't know who Charlie is and I'm terrified to find out. The earliest Roblox visor in the annual visor series, the 2007 visor, was only on sale for 4 months. There are 10 different textbooks in the catalog that when bought, you can wear on your head. These include the math textbook, 2007 edition, chemistry textbook, biology textbook, reading textbook, math textbook, 2011 edition, economics textbook, geography textbook, music theory textbook, and the biology fundamentals textbook. When the Builders Club feature, the precursor to Roblox Premium, was released on August 16, 2007, Shedletsky wrote a blog post about it. In this blog post, there used to be an image of the sentence, Join Builders Club Now, written in yellow bricks on a blue base plate. 
but as of 2021, the image is missing from the original blog post. And finally, to wrap up this video, Eric Castle's 23rd birthday landed on a Sunday. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.